hello everyone welcome back to my channel uh, are you here so today we will start to learn about the AWS S3 and also AWS Lambda integration to create a uh, cool stuff in this case we will try to build image converter so the idea is when we try to upload uh, files in this case is image file colorful image file and then we will trigger the function in the lambda and it will convert the image to the to be a grayscale image and then re-upload it to the S3. So to start that we need to create a new bucket. In this case let's start to create with the name GS image converter. Okay, and for the region you can choose whatever you want. Okay. And for the copy, okay, for the setting you can leave it like that and block all public access and okay i think no need to specify uh, many things okay so just create a bucket and then we need to create a uh, several some folders let's go to the bucket first so the first one is the source for the image so we need to create let's say a raw folder like something like this a raw prefix actually and then the other thing the other is the converted okay and create another folder again and we already have a two folder here and the next thing is we need to create a function in the lambda let's say grayscale converter so just create a new function here in this case i will use a python because in the my machine and the setup is using the python so let's use the same with your uh, local machine so let's create the new function and add name like gs image converter okay select the runtime in this case i'm using python 3.8 and the permission let's uh, use something like this at first and then let's create the function uh, later we will try to add the trigger and configure the permission actually so first let create the function first and next we can set up the permission to access the s3 because by default we cannot access the x3 to override so in this uh, landing page we can see the trigger here so we need to add a new trigger the trigger should be a s3 okay because we want to get uh, immediate response when we upload the file so let's search for s3 and select the bucket the bucket that we already created before the gs image converter and for the event type let's uh, select for the all object create events so like a new files or overwriting files we can choose and don't forget to set the prefix here because we don't want to create uh, infinite loop so make sure that we tell the prefix to be raw so only file in the raw folder will be processed and let's click the acknowledgement so and then click add basically in this uh, state we already create a trigger so when we add a new file in the s3 it will trigger the lambda function but we need to add another permission so we need to give permission to create a new files from the lambda function so we can do using something like this so you can see the role name here and you can click that it will redirect it to the AM console and we can add the inline policy to create the new uh, policy actually to enable this lambda function to write files in the lambda in the s3 and you can see something like this in the permission tab just click the add inline policy and you can use the json actually this is the sample of the previous project that are already created and let's just copy that and adjust accordingly so the okay so this one is so basically we we need to uh, load this role to get uh, the object and then the list bucket and also to put a new object and in this uh, part we need to make sure that we specify the right s3 name so the previously we create the gs image converter so we need to uh, make sure the name is correct converter okay something like this so basically it will allow to create a new resource or get the object in this uh, resources and just review policy make sure that it working there is no error and okay gs image converter read write 
something like this and create a policy okay so now we already add the policy here and let's back to the function so uh, the next is we need to configure the code okay basically the code is quite simple uh, let me paste the code to you but the difficult part is not the code itself but how to import the library because for converting the image and the colorful image to be a gray scale we need something called pillow in the python and it has a cool function to uh, convert actually but the thing is we need to make sure that the code that we deploy is already include the uh, library so uh, let me uh, let me show you when we only we only paste this one and run let uh, configure the bucket name so this is the bucket name as you can see that for the uploading we need to specify the bucket and in this case is gs image converter okay and the destination for the converted image will be in the converter slash grayscale underscores so it will has it will uh, have the prefix grayscale underscores and let's try to deploy okay actually it will fail because uh, there is a library that not exists so we need to create a zip and then upload in the lambda i will uh, demonstrate that uh, later just let's try to run this one okay let's view in the cloud watch and let's upload uh, some files in the raw let me try to upload that one to you let's see okay i'm uploading one files it will be uh, colorful and then let's upload and we will check the log in the lambda function okay upload it let's close this one and let's check again in this part in this page in the logs in the monitor log and this page okay still loading we can also try to check in the cloud watch let's see it will fail actually but no problem okay we can see something like this and it should fail you can see this part okay so some error unable to import the lambda function no module name pill so this time we need to create the a zip that contain the module itself so what we need to do is go to your uh, favorite ide in this case i'm using the visual studio code and in that IDE, you can use virtual environment, virtual env, and then the name of your project. In this case, is image converter. Okay, something like this. And go to that uh, folder and activate using this command being activate something like this. And just install the library that you, you want to install in this case is pillow it will be there actually in my case okay it's already there and the next thing is i need to create the uh, what they call the zip for this uh converter actually so let's back to the okay let me let's see let me rename the previous one something like this okay and change the bucket here gs okay let's save again and back to the image converter okay so what we need what we need to do is actually to create a zip and go to the lib folder and then python and site pages something like this and create a new zip using zip minus r this is the path actually so we need to create a new path you, we need to create a new zip let's see it should be in the root so image converter okay so the name is not image converter right so we need to create gs image converter let's see okay let's name it gs image converter dot zip gs something like this dot zip and let's enter oh wait okay now actually i already add the uh, library to the zip and what i need to do is add the 
lambda function file to that zip so we can use this zip minus g for gs image converter and then the lambda function dot pw okay so it's done something like this so we already have lambda function okay you can see that it has the gs image converter and we can back to the image converter and deactivate okay so what we need to do is actually okay deploy that zip we can use the s3 method actually to the deploy so let's try let's create another folder in the gs image converter in this case let's see let's create a folder called code okay and up create a folder and upload the zip there okay to the code and upload let me try gs image converter okay let's upload this and let's deploy in the cloud function so to deploy we can back to the code tab here and select the upload form and using s3 amazon location okay okay it's already okay it's there let's wait okay and let's image converter dot zip something like this and click save okay so the updating is in the progress and we can see that because we up uh, we deploy using the zip uh, mechanism actually it won't show the code source again because yeah it's actually this is the disadvantage if we deploy with uh, what I call the additional library but that's okay so we can still uh, modify in the our uh, IDE so let's back to the s3 again and let's try to upload the new files in the raw files in the raw folder here let's upload a new file and we can expect a new file will be created let's see let's see new file here and upload we can see that we are uploading in the raw folder okay and we can check again in this gs image converter just refresh the log okay we can check whether error occurred okay it's uploaded and let's back okay it's uploaded now and let's back to the root folder and let's check in the converted nothing here so we can check what happened let's see what's wrong in the code by okay so we can see here in the cloud watch okay actually okay it's there actually so okay let's check again in the converter it's still not there let me check raw it's there but the thing is let's check gs image converter okay that's correct okay let's go up again and check another lock i expect some error actually because the file is not there but no error here so let's check in the code converted oh, okay it's there okay so some time to process we can see that the timestamp is 20 and 34 let's see the log that we see oh, okay i think okay it's good no error here and the file is generated so let's download that one by clicking this and download i will show the comparison later Okay, grayscale this one. Okay, this one is the grayscale version, and this one is the original version. Let me show you. 
okay so you can see that the one that we uh, check in the converted folder actually the grayscale version of the original one so it's working actually so now we already learned to integrate the s3 and then also the lambda with the read and write permission so using this you can create your another project to create uh, instant or near real-time uh, processing even based processing using lambda and s3 that's all for this video if you have any question or feedback uh, please feel free to uh, drop in the comment and don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and share this video if you see this video is helpful thank you and see you in the next video